All right, welcome back to another Tool World podcast. I'm your host, David Ju, and I'm here with Master Ju. How's it going there, Mr. Ju? It's going pretty good. All right. We're coming back from the ITF National Qualify for Team USA uh, under our organization. And we're going to just be talking about what is your favorite part about tournaments? What well, a- you've, got, you've done all, all <laughs> parts. You were competitor, coach, umpire, jury president, spectator. <laughs> what do I like about tournaments? Yeah. Well, I think, uh, first of all, from a Taekwondo point of view, if you want to be better, then do tournaments, right? Mm-hmm. It's not the end all. But tournaments, in my opinion, just pushes the limit. Mm-hmm. You need to know where you stand against other people. And when you compete, either you win or you lose. And if you lose, hopefully you go back and go, I want to go back and be better and win next time. And vice versa, if I win, I want to also know why I won. Mm-hmm. So I can be better. Because sometimes you do have people that just wins all the time. Right. <laughs> right? So how... They need feedback as well. Yeah. But that's a good measuring point. What do you think? Well, I was um, umpiring at that tournament, but I was center refereeing. Yeah, you like that? I do like that. Yeah. Well, but I was like... Um, in control. No, not in control. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the um, center umpiring for sparring. Yeah. Just because no. it's, you know, some kids get hurt or some kid starts crying. You feel a little bad. Should you call it? Should you not? But um, it really impacts, like, the children. And then, like, oh, the excitement that you bring brings excitement to the tournament too and so can you make their day can you make their parents day and i was kind of thinking about that because we kind of had a system going you know get them up for pictures because all the parents want pictures they're all excited with the little kids you gotta hype up the kids too so you know it's like a kind of an entertainer job absolutely you know um you have a center effort who's not um too exciting and that's kind of a boring match in a way right sometimes it, they do set kind of the tone they're also mm-hmm. in control of how the the um, competition goes uh, and, and everyone's a little bit different I tend to like want to let them go mm-hmm. you know so a lot of times I don't call well I'll call certain things but like sometimes there are accidents you know we could be technical and says, oh, you kicked their back, but that wasn't necessarily their fault. It's because they turned around in yeah. that moment in time, and so they, they got kicked in the back. So, yes, you could call that, or maybe they're, um, you get, they got kicked in low, but that was because they were starting to move in, and so mm-hmm. it, the kick was too low when they hit them. Yeah. I kind of tend to let them, let them go, mm-hmm. but that's just me. Right, yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> I think we had a whole bunch of white belts, and it was like, low kick, low kick, low kick, low kick. And I was like, oh, just let it go. Back kick, back kick, back kick, you know? And I was like, ah. Well, yeah, won't call yeah, anything yeah, yeah. except one that went, like, straight down the center, right? Yeah, but it, the center referee is in control of the fight, right? Yeah. Sometimes they get overpowered, or there's a lot of, it's like, just flurries, and sometimes you just got to stop that, because that's where accidents do happen, and that's mm-hmm. where people can get hurt. And so... Um, just slowing it down a little bit or mm-hmm. letting it go and pick up the pace. So it kind of depends on it depends on the competitor as well. Are they mm-hmm. able to handle that, not handle that? Right. No, tournaments are definitely a good way to measure how we're doing. Mm-hmm. And it's, it is important. I mean, that's one of our requirements in our studios that they have to compete. What was interesting is that over the years, I found that I was starting to get some black belts that have never competed. I was like, what? How is that possible? Because I think competition is important, not just from the competitive point of view, but putting people under pressure Mm -hmm. so that they understand that training in class is one thing, and but you're never really put under pressure. You could Mm -hmm. be sparring, they could put pressure, but it's not really the kind of pressure. And why is that important? Well, I think it's important mostly because if you're on the street, you will be under pressure. Mm -hmm. And are you able to rise to that occasion? And so testings and tournaments puts our students under pressure so that hopefully they will will be able to handle that pressure in and situation. Right. So I think competition is really important in that way. Yeah. No, I totally agree with that. What do you think of the competition uh, 
Was it good? Yeah, it was yeah. okay. It was yeah. good, especially right out of pandemic, <laughs> COVID. Right. You know,、um, we haven't done a lot of sparring or just giving people hugs. <laughs> you see <laughs>、right. that a lot, right? And that's great. Tournaments are, and that's another thing about tournaments is just、uh, seeing some old friends and you know just being able to、um, to meet with them. Right. And that's right. really a. That's really fun. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, let us know your thoughts on the favorite part about tournaments. Don't forget to leave a like, follow the page, and don't forget to be safe. Keep training, and we'll see you guys next time. Take one.